You can find them swerving on the sidewalk in different parts of Miami and Fort Lauderdale. These AI operated self driving delivery robots have become quite the topic of conversation for people working and living in those areas. But how do they work? How do they know where to go? And how do people really feel about them? CBS News Miami's Anna McAllister joins us from Brickell tonight and answers all those questions. Surf Robotics deployed its first fleet of five robots in the city of Miami back in February, and now there are hundreds of them roaming the streets and the sidewalks. They're the delivery drivers who don't say much when they drop off your food. But despite their lack of conversational skills, these self-driving robots are taking over the streets of Miami. I find them a little bit annoying, inconvenient. I like the robots because if you didn't have the robots, you would have a million bicycle riders from Grubhub. Serve Robotics is one of the companies providing their AI-operated self-driving delivery robots for service in South Florida. Everything is fully integrated through the Uber Eats app. Uh, once you get to the checkout page of the merchant, there is a toggle that as the consumer, you have the power to turn on or off if you leave it on then you have the possibility of getting matched with a robot for your delivery. If you are someone that tips in advance, once you get that robot delivery, you do get that tip refunded to you. And there's no one operating these robots. They get around on their own. It is the computer on board, the AI making the driving decisions. Um, so again, it's taking data from all of its different sensors. It's five cameras, it's LiDAR. Um, all of these different sensors are providing it that safe path to traverse um, throughout the city. These robots operate on the sidewalks, can cross streets, and typically travel three to five miles per hour. They only deliver to places that are no more than 1.25 miles from the restaurant. Merchants like Rice Mediterranean say the robots have boosted their business substantially. It's a lot. More than 100 hours daily. More than 100 daily? Yes. The robot is easy. Don't talk. Give her the food and they take the food. <laughs> Once the merchant loads the food into the robot, the door locks and it's on its way to its destination. The person who orders it gets a notification on their phone to unlock it. You press the button on the robot and then dinner is served. Got my dinner for tonight. Yay. So the serve robots operate off an 18 hour battery and when you see them congregated together, they're still on the clock. When you see these robots just hanging out the corner of a street, just know they aren't stuck. They're idle. They work for 12 hours a day and they're just waiting to get the call for their next delivery. They're the delivery drivers of the future, but they're here today despite mixed feelings about their existence. They can just the sidewalk. I like them. I don't think they've gotten in the way. The more robotic and new age we get, that's, that's just what's going to be. And if these robots do get stuck, there is an operator who is alerted to help them get out of that situation. And to learn more about these robots, you can check out this story on our website, cbsmiami.com. But for now, reporting and delivering from Brickell, Anna McAllister, CBS News, Miami.